Adam Gillette with Accuracy in Media, and here are some of the stories we're covering right now on AIM.org. First of all, we've got a piece from Stephanie Friedman titled, What Did It Take to Expose Jeffrey Epstein? Not a call for justice, but a chance to hit Trump. For years, probably decades now, many of us, especially conservatives, have been talking about Jeffrey Epstein and what a horrible, terrible, low-life creep the guy is. There were rumors for years that supposedly Bill Clinton had been to his private island and had appeared on the flight logs. The media never investigated this stuff to a wide degree. And instead of doing investigative journalism to see if that was true about Bill Clinton, which wasn't a story they would have wanted to write, they basically looked the other way on Epstein until they were able to say, well, there he is in a photograph with Trump. Only when they could try to use Epstein as an excuse to go after Trump did they have any interest in this story at all. It's outrageous. In addition, we've got a piece from our editor, Caroline Smith, about the Washington Post, where democracy dies in darkness. Well, evidently, they wanted to write a piece about a supposed link between violent crime and gun sales, but the facts didn't support their left-wing narrative. So what did they do? They buried the facts deep within the article in the 14th paragraph, and they ran a headline that was entirely contrary to the facts. It's what we call clickbait, folks. In addition, we've got a piece about Teen Vogue. We've been writing about Teen Vogue for a while now on AIM.org and on our social media channels. I guess Teen Vogue used to be a fashion magazine for young girls. That failed. They just became a website and that was it. But instead of focusing on fashion or whatever else Vogue would focus on, Teen Vogue has been promoting Marxism and socialism. And this sounds like a wild claim, but they literally are writing pieces devoted to praising Marx. They literally have an ongoing series, I think it's called Bread and Roses or something, where they do nothing but praise democratic socialism and sell democratic socialism to young girls. Well, the latest socialist idea that they think is in fashion is opposing rent, opposing the idea of being a landlord, believing that housing is a human right, and they think it's immoral, I guess, to rent out a property to somebody and give them somewhere to live for a reasonable price. 